This video was brought to you by Indently.io, learning Python made simple. How's it going everyone? In today's video, I'm going to be introducing to you a very important concept that we have in Python. And today's lesson derives from one of my quizzes. It's one of my most popular quizzes on this channel. I've posted it once before, and then I posted it again as the channel grew, and a lot of people were always shocked by the output. And what I'm talking about is what happens if you were to print the output of the int constructor. Right now, I didn't insert anything. In general, you'd insert some sort of string or some sort of value. You can even insert a Boolean and that would cast it to an integer. But what happens if you insert nothing? You just keep it empty and vanilla. Well, the output is going to be zero because that's the default value that will be created when you use the int constructor without any arguments. And some people think this is quite random, but I think it's behavior that you should expect because this is not exclusive to the integer. This actually works with all of the constructors for all of the data types or all of the primitive data types at least. For example, here we have the integer, but we could also try that with float, with string, with booleans, with lists, tuples, dictionaries, and sets. And as soon as we run that, you'll see that everything that gets output to the console is going to be an empty value or the minimum value. That's not technically the correct term, but what I'm trying to say is that it's going to have the base value of zero, an empty string, false, an empty list, empty pair of parentheses for a tuple, an empty pair of curly brackets for a dictionary, and then we're going to have an empty set, which is written like this because otherwise we would confuse it with a dictionary. And for the string, the reason we don't get those quotation marks is because we're printing the string directly, which when you print an empty string gives you an empty output. But to actually see what it looks like, we can go to string, I was just looking for that, and surround it by the representation of that string. And then it would show us those quotation marks. But the string is still empty. But yeah, that's just something I thought that was quite interesting that I would like to share with a lot of you because from what I saw in the quiz, a lot of you were shocked that this integer constructor would return zero by default. But once you follow the logic of all the data types, it just ends up making more sense. Everything should have a minimum value or a default value when you use it without an argument. It just makes the language much more simple. But yeah, that's actually all I wanted to cover in today's video. Do let me know what you think about all of this in the comment section down below, whether you have some added information to share, maybe some cool facts about this, maybe some cool use cases. But otherwise, with all that being said, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.